Okay, so what you're about to see is almost two hours of uncut footage of an AI build out for a medical practice. We did a lot of fun stuff. Um, we made sure their chat widget was robust enough to answer questions with a nice knowledge base, book appointments for them, uh, as well as collecting information that Go High Level does not natively collect, such as uh, first name, you know, full name, whatever it is. And then uh, now that they collect email and phone number, uh, we just had a fallback for the phone number because that's what we were testing. Um, there was one uh, instance where it did not collect the phone number, so we created a fallback for that. We also created uh, a way for us to differentiate and ask the, uh, the inbound lead on the chat widget if they were a returning patient or if they were a new patient so that we can later categorize them uh, in our client acquisition system. And then we also set this up for inbound on social medias as well. We also went through uh, some appointment confirmation reminders and some fun uh, internal practices of sending a internal notification to the client themselves and giving them options to say, hey, did they show up, not show up, they run in late, uh, or do you want us to ask 15 minutes later so that um, you know, we can further automate this, you know, bring them back in, um, you know, mark that appointment as showed, et cetera. So a lot of cool stuff here, two hours uncut. I know it's a lot, but maybe you'll get to hear some of the reasoning uh, behind why we built out some of the stuff we did and you get to see the really really granular build out uh, and testing of something like a chat widget for a client so about two hours uh, hour and 40 some odd minutes um, I think you'll have uh, a lot of fun watching it it's a lot of silence because it's it's just me and him building it out uh, but he's he's an amazing uh, amazing guy very very happy to do it and I hope that as you watch this uh, maybe you find some technique maybe you find some reasoning that helps you uh, serve your clients better. I will chop this up later and turn it into um, you know informational videos with you know certain things that we did like the value collection on their own. But this was a you know full uncut raw recorded build out of uh, of some AI capabilities and a little bit client acquisition system stuff, high level stuff for a medical practice. So I will go away now. Uh, talking for way too long. I hope you enjoy and I hope you find value from it. Uh, if you ever need me, let me know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one. Yeah, actually, this is the, the one. Yeah, you want to do the, the demo, just show them the hat widget and uh, all of that here. Okay. Uh, and then we'll just deploy it uh, to that actual. Okay, perfect. Let's take a look. Perfect. So, so right off the bat, right, we are having some issue with the chat widget which we we did already uh it's not sending the names it's sending the email address uh and those uh, other information but the name is not uh reaching high level it just shows up as some uh visitor or something like that yeah it's like the one thing that go high level doesn't push they'll push the email and now they push the number in fact they just did an update where they'll like sure. sync that information with the current contact and everything but um I actually, I'm going to push an update later where we can yeah. overwrite the name for, for this use case yeah. specifically, but I actually have okay. a, um, a roundabout way we can do it just for right now. Mm -hmm. It should okay. be, should be fun. Okay. So, and, and, and one related question, right? So on the hat widget on the website, uh, mm -hmm. is it possible to do a, a GPT 3.5? So it's, it's faster to respond because, uh, you know, this widget is not really that smart. It's just booking an appointment, answering some questions. Yeah. Which one were you running with here? Uh, or which one were you testing with? Yeah. So, Munir, which one was it? Was it M2? We are using Temp2. Yeah. Okay. yeah. M2. We can bring down this queuing to like one second, and it, it's just about fast enough. Or it should be. Um, Oh, okay, so when you say once, I can read it. Is it one second after receiving a reply, uh, or, or is it once? I can because we need to give time for for the customers to put in their email and all that, right? Yeah, it's just this is the queuing time. So once they've okay. uh, oh, okay, know, so a queuing. yeah, so we'll play around with it too. Okay. And again, I'll have um, so I have OpenAI like as a pass through now in a workflow mm -hmm. action, so we could technically do stuff like that and you know mm -hmm. uh, modify that around. But mm -hmm. right now we'll test with this, which should just you know give them a taste of that, and then we can always do more advanced okay. stuff in the future. Okay. Um, so let's 
We'll bring the temperature down a little bit more deterministic here. Uh, we don't need that. Let's take a look. Friendly, perfect. Great. Okay. Um, can I delete these? Can I start over on this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Unir, yeah, okay, right? Hey, he's the one doing the... <laughs> <laughs> doing all the work. Unless we have anything crazy in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, we should be okay. We, we have backups also. Okay. I'm just going to save that just for right now. Mm -hmm. And then one thing I'm going to do for just like a workaround right now until I can get that update pushed. Because the other thing, too, is I don't want to like overwrite. The, the one thing I've been... Uh, hesitant on for that is like if you already have the email right and like yeah, yeah. they type they mistype yeah, their email yeah. and then yeah. we we push the wrong email and that and then i'd yeah. feel really bad so i'm trying to figure yeah. out a way for you to say okay yeah. you can or you know maybe yeah. overwrite this one but not this yeah. one so let's do let's do chat widget collected name Perfect. And let's put that just an additional info. And then proactively, I'll just do an automation here. And then we'll just do um, chat widget. So we can keep all of our little chat widget stuff in here. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is I'll make a workflow that's basically saying, um, name change or name fill and i'll just say whenever we fill that custom value or uh updated this is the right one so this is being recorded right mm -hmm. yep okay, good, good. Okay. so let's do i think it's this one yep and then we'll do uh tell what you collect the name has changed We'll make a change to the contact uh, themselves. Let's see, update contact. Oh, shit, wrong thing. Hold on. I'm all over the place today. Then we'll just do. We'll just put in full name as the contacts. Chat widget collected name. So that way we can. Um, Collect their name dynamically. So change guest name to real name. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that here. So, and then this, we'll just name this here. So when assistant finds name. Uh, so when the assistant fills out this, which will tell it this is the name we're looking for. So when they fill that out, we'll change the contact's name to the name we collected. Great. And so we'll go ahead and publish that. And we'll allow re-entry just in case, mm -hmm. just in case it changes. <laughs> okay. So, and then chat widget, we have our chat widget deployment here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to throw this in the folder, too, just so we can get a little bit organized. Yeah. Be nice. yeah. And then um, we'll leave this how it is right now. And we'll just say here, activate chat assistant. So, and did we get a chat message? Bring the chat system in. And then we can let that uh, run on re-entry. Mm. Perfect. Okay. So good to go there. So now we're live. We're good. And let's let's dig into the goals here. I'll just call this our chat widget assistant. And we 
have our training data there. Perfect. Let's just take a look. Great. Okay. Things look good here. We're going to let it respond really, really quickly. And then for context, customer support representative. Great. Easy enough. And then we can move this. Um, okay, it looks like you have that here. So we'll just put that there. Our services include. I'll just move this over here. And then we'll just put these data points uh, conversationally almost to the assistant, just to kind of like you know, feed it to it in a, in a language it understands, which is, you know, instructions in a conversational way or in a plain language type way. Uh, behavioral health, physical exams, same day sick visits, and, and lab testing. Okay. okay. Our expertise is in. Really. Knee regenerative therapy. Very cool. How'd you connect with uh with this company? Well, oh, actually, he's my neighbor. You know, hmm. he lives in the same habitation. I've known him for a while. You know, so uh, it's pretty much a done deal. You know, yeah. I just have oh, to nice. show. Uh, yeah, can do the job. Very cool. Do you have um? Do you have the website? Do you want to uh? to generate a uh, probably like a more in-depth company overview or a more specific company overview with their website yeah so i think for us for our company okay uh, uh, no, what is the question again so uh, overview of their company right yep yeah. for their company if we have a, oh, yeah, is yeah. This a... So there is a website actually premium uh, yeah i'll just end the link uh, okay yeah uh, this is it. This premier health center. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. That's the one. Let's let's take a look. See if it spits out anything good. Oh, very nice. All that generates will go, we'll start to dig into goal steps. Mm -hmm. So, um, goal step one. So I, I guess with a chat widget, right, we don't necessarily need to introduce ourselves because someone's going to come in here and they'll just be like, you know, I have a, I have an issue. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's do, um, rapport building. And um, helpful FAQ, maybe. Mm -hmm. We'll just push this here for right now because um, I have a couple things I'm going to push here. So we'll say report building a helpful FAQ. So someone's going to come here, they're probably going to look at our site and they're going to have more questions about services, mm -hmm. something that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, maybe book an appointment so we'll just have a goal here that's just you know let's let's build a little rapport and let's help them out so we'll say um, listen to and answer leads queries with do you have a knowledge base for this one or oh yeah, yet? yeah. okay okay yeah. Knowledge base and available information. Make sure their questions are answered uh, sufficiently. Hmm. Did not hmm. spell sufficient really right. Sufficiently. There we go. Someone like that. Yeah. And and something important here is you know they should not give any medical advice or uh, things like that. Uh, you know if you say I have a 
some health problem, but you should not start solving their <laughs> <laughs> issue. There yeah. we go. There yeah. we go. We'll, we'll say um, important contacts. Uh, let's you know. Let's just lay it out up front. You are not a medical professional, nor are you expected to be. So if someone is seeking medical advice, refer them to an appointment to get uh, actual advice from a medical professional. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll do a little bit more work here, but let's mm -hmm. let's save this and let's see. This company review, did we ever generate? Okay. <laughs> no, it didn't. So let's say primary health, let's regenerate. We have appointment confirmation reminder. Perfect. And knowledge base. Okay. Plenty of stuff. Perfect. This one doesn't look like it wants to, uh, to scrape. I wonder where that goes. Interesting. I wonder why this one doesn't want to want to scrape. I hope this is helpful. I, I know it'll be kind of a little, little bit boring and quiet, but no, uh, it's meant to be this way, right? You know, we we have to, you know, all the nuts and bolts, right? You know, it's yeah, super yeah. Uh, I love this. You and me both. All right. So while that's working, let's go back to our chat widget assistant. Okay, and let's go to goal step two. So we're gonna build rapport. Are we gonna qualify, or or are we just trying to book an appointment, perhaps? Yeah, probably there, there's no qualification here. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, irrespective, they're new or existing patients, and we want to take their appointment. Uh, you know, they're. Okay. Um, maybe maybe we do a goal step to figure yeah. out if it's a if they're new or an existing oh, yeah, patient. Okay. That would yeah. be a, yeah a good one. Yeah. Determine lead type, maybe that'd be a good yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Spell it out. Is it like a hospital, healthcare center? Or? Yeah, it, it's a you know it's a single doctor medical facility. Okay. It's a small so one. Let's ask the user if they are a returning patient, or if this is their first time visiting our healthcare yeah. center. Yeah. Um, this will help us determine, um, you could say this will help us determine, um, I mean, I don't want to spit out the obvious. This will help us determine whether if they're a current patient or not, but <laughs> this, let's just say this will help us determine whether... This is a returning patient or a new patient mm -hmm. so that we can document that properly internally. Now let's give uh, maybe some example dialogue. Mm -hmm. First time I changed sub data to example dialogue because I feel like that's a lot easier to understand than, uh, than sub data. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been changing 
you notice I even changed like training data to knowledge, but I've been changing a lot of this around just kind of like the past yeah. couple weeks, like listening to people. And like, yeah. as I'm trying to explain this stuff, like I used like, for example, training data, like, what's that? I'm like, well, like, like, it's like a knowledge base. And they're like, yeah. oh, and I'm like, <laughs> maybe I should just call it knowledge base. Yeah. Uh, visiting with us or. And we could use that. We'll set that to 10. And then we'll set this one to 10. And we can give this verbiage later. But then we'll come to goal. And then this will be book an appointment. Book an appointment reference power available time slots. And converse with the lead to find a common day and time and then come in for an appointment. That's fine. And then we can elaborate on all this stuff. Determine lead type. Okay. And then we want to, maybe we do add like not qualifying, but information gathering here. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, we should get an email. Yeah, and let's go ahead and uh, add one more thing here under additional. Let's add returning for a new patient. We'll add that one in there too. Okay, so we've built a little rapport here. Um, determine lead type here where we will, let's fill a custom value. We could have done a tag probably there too, but um, we'll just use a custom value for right now. All these sync up. So tell me the difference between tag and custom value. Um, from like a practical aspect or just like using it like this? Yeah, I mean, just in a, in a general sense, a practical. Mm, there's like some things like, I would probably say in this instance, you know, a tag would probably be better and we can come back and do mm. this, but tag is more so for like how you want to organize your leads, like, you know, what they mm. are, where they're mm. from. Um, you know, you're just tagging them with, mm. with things you can use later. Cause I could say, um, and I have actually, funny enough, a thing up here that I'm going to post later where we can pull this information proactively to use it in the goal. Yeah. Um, but we could, you know, for example, if you have a returning patient in our system, we can have it where they're tagged, you know, mm. a new, okay. like a current patient. Okay. Yeah. And um, anything that comes from a Facebook ad or anything like that, yeah. any inbound yeah. inquiry, we could yeah. make a new patient and yeah. we could separate those in here. Yeah. And in the same way, you know, we could separate those, but a, a custom field uh, would be more so information that we collect or information that we want to fill out. Right. Um, but I think for this one, we'll just, um, you know, we'll just run with this to see how, how it works. And then we can come back and, you know, maybe, maybe use tags for this. Um, when we patient or a returning patient fill a new patient or returning patient based on their answer So we can identify our internal CRM. Okay. And we can close that one up and then we'll just move appointment booking after this.
Then we'll come here, information. Uh, we'll say value extraction. and our internal systems we need to collect information that we don't already have Systems, so this task is vital. So, your goals. All right, so crucial persistence level is going to be high. Let's go ahead and let's fill a custom value. The custom value is the name. The, the lead tells us name and any step we want to fill this value with the name let's say you are required to fill this value with their name so that we that we can keep this step is crucial. All right, so let's collect their name, their email will be collected by go high level and some of their phone number. But let's, um, let's add a few example dialogues here. So, all say great. number to reach you at in case of any let's say the best number to reach you at in case of any um, changes to your appointment right. we'll just tell it to reference the example verbiage dialogue to help conversationally extract this information. Perfect. All right, so we'll build a little rapport, determine the lead type, try to push that lead type. Um, a little bit of Pre-qualification, 
grab their name and then book an appointment and that should be good we can at least come in here and test so everything else looks fine And then we have our deployment. I'll just say chat widget deployment just to keep organized. And then we have our knowledge base. Perfect. All right. Let's give it a test. And then after the test, we'll we'll see how we're looking, and then we'll go back and start making some changes and building out the system around that. Let's just say this is my first time. And let's make sure this is adhering to our, mm -hmm. our rules here of filling out information. And if not, then we can we can throw that into the goal steps themselves too. I need to probably bring down this time a little bit too. Okay, successful custom, custom field attempt. So extracted value. All right, and it labeled me as a new patient. So it should have labeled me as a new patient. Let's take a look. So here I am in go high level. And if I go under additional information, it listed me as a new patient. Perfect. All right. Great. Welcome to proceed with booking appointment. All right. And then we'll specify it uh, when we go back to ask these one at a time. But I'll just say, let's just say, let's just give it my name. <laughs> See how it reacts. And then we can come in here. Um, so we probably want it to be a little shorter in its responses too. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's, so let's go into these goal steps and let's tell it to um, ask each question individually to not overwhelm the lead. Let's call me the user. You're speaking with them. Extract the information one by one. Okay. And let's see if it came in here and it filled out my name. Oh, look, it did. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Yeah, awesome. All right. Uh, what's the best email to reach you at? I'll just put in my, I'll just put in a random email. Look at that. It works sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it pre filled it up here too. Contrary to popular delete, uh, belief, yeah. it's fun. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's fun. Right. It's fun to, to build these things out. And yeah. then, you know, some people that, it's, you know, I know it's more of a technical thing, but a lot of people have uh, have trouble getting them, you know, to work exactly how they want, which is why I'm hoping like videos like this will help oh, people yeah. out. Yeah. Um, because you can see just with like a little, you know, specification, I mean, we're, we're able to collect a lot of information right. and 
you know, yeah. do this quite well. Mm. So let's say, lastly, what's the best number to reach you at? Um, 777023. That's just a random number. And so that should collect as well when that comes through. Uh, hopefully from high level standard. If not, we may have to push that too. Yeah, it looks like high level is not going to push that. So we can do a safety on this too, um, mm. or we'll do another custom another custom field okay. for a chat widget, and we'll just say uh, phone number. And then we'll come back to that in a second. Let's make sure this thing's going to push us over the finish line, though. Okay. Some availability Monday. Yeah, this time's work for you. Okay, 9.30 is fine. And then now it should book the appointments. Not bad for a good first run, huh? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, just listed them. It's the little things. It's definitely yeah. the little things. It's, yeah, always. And then I think what I'm going to do too in the future, um, almost like what I did with the voice assistant, if you've played with it, like when it goes to do something, you know, there is that like little bit of time it takes to like, for example, like, you know, it's booking an appointment. That takes, you know, like a couple seconds to do. Yeah. yeah. So I may have it to where you can put in like a pre-filled message. So while it's doing this, you'll say, okay, give me one second while I book your appointment yeah. and then, you know, come back and, and yeah, do that. Yeah, it'll be, uh, yeah. I think yeah. that'll be really fun uh, yeah. and helpful. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, the appointment's successful, great. Let's make sure everything looks good and high level. Um, okay, so I booked our appointment for 9.30 on Monday. Um, collected our email, collected our name. High level did not pick up the phone number, so we're gonna have to pick up the slack there. And then um, it looks like for the most part, it did what we needed it to do. Yeah. It's a good run. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Okay. Um, let's do a little bit more work with the verbiage and let's go ahead and pick up that phone number too. Mm -hmm. So let's go here to our chat widget, assistant, goal steps, and we want this in the value extraction. Let's pick up another custom value and we'll resync it to pick up the new one. Depending on how fast high level will give it to us. It may change. Is there something different we need to do if they are a new patient versus a returning oh, no. one? No, I did. It won't change anything, you know. They, they, okay. Yeah. So we'll just do this for the phone number two. So when lead tells us their phone number in any step, um, we'll say in any format during any step, you're required to fill this value with their phone number in raw format so that we can keep that information internally for other team members, this step's crucial. Okay, so we'll collect the phone number two and we'll just do the same thing that we did on this other one. Yeah. And we'll just, again, kind of pick up the slack from high level here and say uh, phone number. So we'll say when the assistant 
finds the phone number, which is going to be collected phone number has changed. Oh, is this helpful? I hope this is helpful. Extremely helpful. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we'll come here to custom values and we'll say, um, my blonde, uh, Some fields. Oh, here we go. There we go. So change. Phone number. Perfect. So when we find the phone number, we're going to set the phone number. Mm. And we're going to allow reentry just in case it changes, yes. and we'll save that. And then uh, that should be fine. Let's also bring down um, some verbiage training here. Mm, I think everything else here is good. Let's bring the yeah, temperature is fine. Maybe we'll do this at 165. Message queuing quick, and then um, this conversation is happening. Someone is reaching out on our website. Yeah, chat widget. And you are to take incoming inquiries and converse with those leads based on your goals and tasks. Perfect. All right. We'll tell it to have it ask me here if I That one looked fine. This seems fine. And we'll just expand here. Knowledge base. Answer any questions that may come up. To the answer. All right, so that should be fine. Everything else here looks pretty good. Perfect. Let's do another run. I'll go ahead and clear up this thread. I'll delete my contact. Let's run this again. Oh, that's going to recognize me. I may need to do this. So hmm. I guess I can just start a new chat. OK. Um, having some knee pain. Is it not going to pick up? Uh, I wonder if that's because it's a, not a live chat, but a chat widget type. <laughs> yeah, so let's add this here. I'll just add another one. It's more replied. channel because this one was live chat right yeah, yeah. 
just to cover our bases on this. Hmm. Okay. It's not even coming through. Oh, uh, maybe because I deleted the contact. And that's technically registering as the contact. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Mm. Oh, so typically when we, we are testing it, we just clear the hash and uh, uh, remove contact, everything, and then start all over again. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. I just want to check out uh, the settings here on this. Um, I think we can make this a little fun, too. Uh, mind if I play around a little bit with this yeah, stuff? Please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's all yes. They have a lot of stuff. Uh... So on their website, they have patient portal. And what is this stuff? This stuff just has. Uh... Yeah, these are all the services which they have. There's, there's not much. It's just. Okay. Yeah. Same text. Mm. Yeah, we'll do something like this right now. Mm. And then let's uh, let's buy ourselves some time with this. So, have anything? One second while I make sure. Perfect. 
I don't love the way that looks. I don't like how it goes in the middle like that. Uh... Oh, another thing that I'd probably want to do too. Um... Yeah, another thing I probably want to do too because this is a medical thing. Yeah. And I've seen this happen before. Is someone has is like having an emergency, <laughs> and they'll like talk to the chat widget, which uh, is interesting. So we'll let's do, um, let's let's make a workflow here for like to just go ahead and handle that situation. So we'll just yes, say yeah. Yeah. Um, emergency call out. And so this is probably where we use a tag. And so I'll say um, emergency detected. Or we'll send internal notification to all users. Full name. Yeah, I'm glad I thought of that because that's that's not a new scenario <laughs> that, I, that I've read across. Yeah. Um, so we'll just have that on there and then I'll, we'll give it here as we're playing around before I can clear my cache and all because we'll test this scenario too. Yeah. Is we'll give this thing like an emergency protocol yeah. uh, maybe here in, in goal. Emergency protocol. Emergency protocol. This step. Mm. I hope this is still helpful. I know we're just kind of still playing around with this, but amazingly helpful. Uh, you know, I can't emphasize enough because all these nuances will will help us. Uh, you know, with you know when we're creating our own. Uh, other flavors of the chat. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's. Um... Um... Stuff to lead is either um, directly responded or indicated that there is an active emergency. Emergencies only. 
will specify health emergencies only. Um, and then let's just give it a protocol. Just say we didn't tag for this one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, um, just a catch all, just for fun. But I think we're good there. Let me, let me. What trying? Jordan, you can delete the website data. Okay. Yeah, go to the website. No, in your browser. Mm. Mm hmm. On three dots next to. The website you are mm -hmm. no other side. Oh, over here? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, not here. Not here? Yeah. In the same website, I will. I am not seeing the... Yeah, that's okay. I have it. Um, I have it in incognito, over on a, a different screen. Then click on cookies and side data. And then you can manage manage on device side data. Hmm. Let's say my knee is hurting. I was looking to see if you have any resources available. Oh, 
hopefully this doesn't activate our emergency protocol. Yeah, actually, we're not seeing the chat widget on the screen. Oh, sorry. I have it on a, a funny enough, a completely different computer. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So we at least get to see it from this side. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And we can probably set the temperature a little bit higher because it seems like it's uh, being a little deterministic here. That's fine. I'll just play it through to make sure everything else is working correctly. that up we may change that to tags um just so we can sort that later on like the you know the grander uh, the okay. diagram that you have yeah but if it's filling it pretty reliably with those um with those values i mean either one should work yeah yeah right. Right. okay perfect Yeah, I think even because uh, I, I see it more applicably than like than any scenario like chat widget where we're coming in here and we're you know filling a value or even grabbing appointment times, and I do have the latency a little bit slowed for situations like that just to keep it you know halfway sane. <laughs> um, but I may have something where it's like you can put something that's like okay one second while I check the file or something like that mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to receive full name. Perfect. We'll make sure that's going to fill my name on there for us. Perfect. It's almost fun when things work right the first yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, actually, this whole thing is built block by block, and I, I really understood how to, uh, you know, create an assistant now. Mm, perfect. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nuanced, right? You know, there's a lot of details that go into make it perfect. You know, we're just going with the real basic uh, approach. Uh, I think yep. this is really nice. Yeah. yeah, it's in, you know, it's like with the other things that I was saying, like, could it be easier? Like, could it be like, you know, a lot easier to set this thing up? Probably, but I don't think it would be near as robust in situations like this, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think we'd be able to have, you know, being able to fill out these things pretty reliably or, you know, appointment booking yeah. pretty reliably and things if we didn't uh, have a little bit more nuance of a setup. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 100%. Okay. Um, so go high level picked up the email, we picked up the name, and now let's see if we did, um, let's see if we can pick up the Slack for high level and pick up the phone number ourselves. Look at that, perfect. Oh, it looks like high level picked it up this time, but yeah. we may still come in here <laughs> and still do it just anyways. Uh, we'll run through the scenario, and I think this is looking pretty, I think this yeah, is looking pretty good. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Or else, are, uh, you know, even just for this demo or like even for this. Um... Yeah, so the other thing would be, right, you know, uh, this would also be on the social media, uh, on the Facebook account. So uh, I guess you would see that you would use the same assistant and just add that extra f uh, in the flow queue, you'll add the uh, Facebook, right? Instead of just yep. the, uh, yeah. yeah. In, in situations like this, especially like if I'm like, say I'm the agency here, right? Like I'm getting really specific. I want to manage my client really, really well. 
I would even probably get a little bit more granular. Like I would, I would separate these like chat widget assistant. Obviously we did some stuff here that's, yeah. you know, bespoke to chat widgets. Mm -hmm. I'd probably do a, a social media where you could share Instagram and Facebook mm -hmm. in a very similar way, but we can still, you know, make sure our verbiage is really, really good for, um, for social medias anyway. So that's probably what we'll end up doing here. Yeah. So what exactly would be the difference in the assistant itself? Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, maybe not too much. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I guess maybe not too much. Um, yeah, I guess now that I think about it, it doesn't really share too much because the verbiage for the chat widget will be inside the chat widget itself. Uh, yeah, I guess we can share this. We'll just say inbound assistant. But we'll just clarify this one a little bit more. And that should, okay, perfect. And then it's getting us some appointment times. It's filled out the number for us. Great. And then chat widget deployment. It's fine. Well, I guess we could do social media deployment here. lead management, some details to front desk. Uh, yeah, I don't know how it gave me these times like this, so we'll specify that too in the goal that it shares them colloquially. Uh, but let's just go through, we'll say Wednesday at nine is fine. I'll just make sure everything's working here, but then we'll just add a little um, extra metric here just to tell it to uh, be a little smarter. scheduled great now let's go I mean it's gonna be pretty similar to social media so we can just do the same thing so review management looks like you have all that down lead management uh, we can come back to that uh, and we can even change this I guess to inbound Inbound deployment and activate chat widget. channel Facebook and we'll do customer applied 
channel Instagram. Uh, actually, Facebook. Uh, you know, I don't have an Instagram account. Okay. Just, yeah. No worries. Then easier, easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll add a contact tag, which will be social media inbound. So, add inbound assistant contact. Uh, and then customer reply. And, And then I don't know about you, but I'm always a stickler for keeping up with my leads. So we'll say Facebook inbound yeah. lead. Thank you. Just so we know where these things are coming from. Yes, yeah, for sure. And then we'll do the same thing with chat widget here. Did you already have one here? Live chat in. Any of these? Yeah, yeah. Any of these will be, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just so we can keep up with it later. And then it should share the same name and phone number and yeah. email thing. So that at least takes care of our inbound for right now. Um, so we have lead management, which will be appointment confirmation reminder. We already built this out yet or no? Um, we need, is this built up? Not yet, I think. Okay. These are just SMS templates and we need to update them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, do you know, uh, since this client's going to pretty much be a done deal here, do you know if they're going to like put their front desk staff in here too, or is it just going to be who, who's going to be in here to manage this? You think? Okay, so manage the account, the the backend. Uh, it'll be us actually. Yeah, we will do the managing that one. So we can do some stuff with the appointment reminder too. Yeah, um, that's part of it. Yeah, yeah, we should. Uh, and that may just be um, kind of a fun thing to do with like the appointment reminder, just for like them in the front desk if they're going to be you know active and helping to manage this. Is that um, you know based on the appointment reminder, we can send out an internal notification to the front desk staff to yeah. ask if they came in or not, and if they did come okay. in. Yeah, um, you know, we can we can try to reactivate. Yeah, if you want to do something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, in fact, I told them about that. You know, that that's what we'll be building. Uh, yeah, yeah. So let, let's do it. Yeah, okay. that's exactly what I had in mind. Um, so we have one hour before, and then I'll just remove this right now. So one hour before the appointment. Great, and then. Copy this to five minutes before. And then we'll copy this action to say minutes before appointment. Yeah, okay, contact first name. we can always change verbiage later.
And then we can do... Um, this down. Let's do diamonds after deployment. Do after five minutes deployment start time. And then we can send out mm. internal notification to, and this will just be front desk staff. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll just say, let's get a, um, what is it, alert emoji. Say should no show running late. Ask again in fifteen minutes. General notification for appointment outcome. And then some. I wonder if it'd be easier for them on email. I don't know. Concept still stays the same, I guess. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, let's go to trigger links. Maybe we can even do like a Oh, this is helpful. I know it's kind of quiet and boring, but Whoa. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I can't emphasize enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure everybody will benefit from this. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to watch all of the build out videos. So, you know, I, I really learned all the nuances. Yeah, I hope it'll help some people out. I know it's a, even a little longer of a video, but I think even just conceptually, yeah, it covers a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it, there's no other way, right? You know, you don't want to just uh, rush through it. Uh, I think. This shows every step, every, yeah. Mm. And of course, there's always a million ways to do this better, but <laughs> I have no expert in, um, in high level. have a domain for them? Yeah. Yeah, it is the co sky. Which one is it, Munir? The second or the first one? Yeah, what is 
do that one. And Unira, are you there? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, so which one is the domain for them, uh, which we, you know, the internal one, which we use for them? It's go skywardblue.co. Blank space, why don't we, huh? mobile great we can add a little uh, padding here well, so here exactly we will this appear so this will be an internal thing just for the okay. trigger link because we'll use trigger links and then it'll just guide mm -hmm. them here just you know giving them a visual indicator mm -hmm. saying hey we just you know uh, okay. it's been it's been recorded okay. cool. uh, so we'll publish this mm -hmm. and um, Example, if we go like custom value, Should take us. It's gonna be www. Sure. Okay. Um. It should be uh, dot com, right? Uh, yeah, that's what I had on there. Yeah. And I think even for this one, you know, when we come come oh, back oh, later yeah. to make this okay. better, we can do yeah. a subdomain yeah. of internal dot oh, dot skyward blue yeah. dot co. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to keep up with, with something like this, let's see. Deployment should. Deployment no should.
do you have a cutoff time or anything or is this uh... oh no 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 i'm good yeah I, actually probably 7 30 is my stop probably okay. yes yeah, 7 30 7 40. okay perfect that should probably be mine too yeah <laughs> i'm sure yeah, yeah we'll see how that goes though mm -hmm. Some verbiage to change on that page, but that should be fine. Let's see, does this open anything? Yeah, we can play with that later, but I'll at least put these in here as, uh, as trigger links. Okay. Let's see what this looks like as a I should.
can even add a, some emojis there, but I'm going to leave it as is for now. Yeah. I'm going to do an FL. Let's, um, and Point and shown. Then we can. Um, I'll let you probably do this into the greater, yeah. the greater thing that you want to do. But for this one, I'd probably you know remove the assistant. Uh, yeah, in this case, we'll remove any assistant tags. Uh, I don't remember what we put on the assistant tags. I knew that one was one. I don't remember the other one. I think it may have been the chat widget. And then uh, update opportunity. And then no show, we can do like a small reactivation or we can send Mr. or Mrs. Lead here. We can say, hey, first name, appointment at, at variable. I know, thing. I know life gets in the way. Okay. To reschedule. Tag on no show and running late. Um, same thing, running late. SMS. again in five minutes I'll just do a wait for 15 minutes
I'm going to go to here. On the internal notification. And then click internal notification. Say contact my pretty mark as a commercial. Check your CRM to make any changes. Something like that, right? Yes, yeah. This is very nuanced. Yeah, it's Perfect. great. Yeah. Um, and now we're getting into the fun internal stuff too, because Go High yeah. Level is really good at internal oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah, uh, exactly. That. That's where it gets really uh, awesome. You know, you can really warp the, uh, you know, the clients, right? You know, they'll go uh, mm -hmm. this way. All of exactly. these. Exactly. Uh, Okay, perfect. And we have uh, this called text back in here. I like this. That's it. That's probably some exact. <laughs> that's exactly what I would put. <laughs> this is great. I like that. Um, and maybe we do a uh, long term nurture here too. And again, this will be more nuanced, like when they actually come on, because you have to put that uh, yes, long term yeah. nurture. Yeah. And you may even want to break it down by um, lead and client. Mm -hmm. And we'll just have that in the way. Perfect. All right. Um, so that carries our inbound here. Review management, I'm sure you have on there. Um, yeah. It's, yeah. Which we could we could technically even on this one. Uh, do something like, you know, I guess a fun one here would be to email the lead. Mm. Maybe get to put the user's full name, user's email. Uh, user. Mm, yeah. What you can even do uh, with this one, kind of fun too, is you could you could do some like images. I think would maybe interesting, and um, and paste a link, almost mm. like a trigger link, right? So you can do some smiley faces here, you know, red, yellow, green, mm. and then based on the smiley faces. Mm we can yeah. dynamically send them a review request because yes. if they if they rate red like obviously we want their feedback to be heard but we want that to be internal so we can do something like if they click if they click the red smiley face then let's send them something internal or have someone call them internal to figure out why uh, but if it, even if it's yellow or green smiley face then we can send them to go uh, put in a google review yeah exactly which which may be interesting to do here um mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we have at least a base base standard here for this, base standard here, at least have this 
tied in so that when that person comes on, we can uh, start to build out long-term nurtures. We have our inbound covered for chat widget and social medias. And then what else you thinking? Or are we, we hitting it right on the spot? Yeah, yeah, we were on the spot actually. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so there was a uh, reactivation, uh, which is again, uh, you know, pretty much the same stuff, right? You know, uh, nurturing, reactivations, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I have, um, I may have a, a snapshot I can send over, but reactivation, yeah. you know, unless you already have one. Oh, no, actually, I, I would love to have that. Uh, I don't have any good one, actually. Uh, yeah, if you can share that. Yeah, because we can just, I'll send you one over that I have, and then we can <laughs> just put that in here, because it's real basic. I mean, it's just like, um, because there's some other things that we can do, right? Just for funsies here. Um, we can set in like their additional information. We can do last appointment date. Uh, mm. Yeah, let's do mm. last. Last appointment date. Mm. And so every time they have an appointment, we can mm. fill out that custom field here. Mm. Uh, it's here, Appointment confirmation reminder. And then, um, yeah, you probably want to move this and, you know, if they show, but just for fun. Uh, we can do their last appointment date mm. for a uh, current date today. Mm. Um, actually, we probably want to move this closer to the appointment, right? Mm. Uh, right there. So let's mm. update the last appointment date. And then we can do something, um, you know, perhaps another workflow that's mm. automated for DBR. Mm -hmm. um, you know, where we come in here, I don't remember if we were on four or three or four, but I'm just going to do four DBR. Mm -hmm. And we should be able to do something like, um, custom date reminder. Custom date. Uh, oh, you know what we can do? Instead, we can track. I don't know about you. I'm, I'm a, I like to have more data than, than not enough. But we can do last appointment date and, um, you know, like scheduled DVR, something like that. And then so when we set their last appointment date, we can also set their their DVR date proactively. Hmm. So we could just copy this. And then we'll do a DBR. It's going to be a custom date. I wonder if we can do a specific date. Shit. Uh, What can we do here? Let's go a little fancy with it, I guess. Hold on. Now I'm just kind of playing around. Sorry, I want to see if it'll do this. Hmm. Uh... Oh, there we go. I'll move this here. Should be update set DBR. Set DBR. 
and then this should update this plus two months so two months from now we'll dbr or whatever you want to set that to and then it'll set the current date and then again, i'd probably move that in the show folder but and then from dbr we should be able to trigger that from a custom date custom date fill with dbr and then start your dbr or we do sms insert here and then we'll add the tag for an assistant. So you'll probably have your assistant, probably have a DBR assistant, or maybe you'll have your sales assistant. Uh, but I'm just going to put a placeholder here. Yes. Um, change. SMS, email. Uh, and then away. I'm out five minutes. I felt okay, reply. Yes. Contact replied is true. No, they did not reply. I just hit them with a quick follow up. And then we'll just spread that down from there. Yep, and we can just duplicate that all the way down and anything with yes, the assistant that we um, that we set up here for DVR will take it over. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is that helpful? Yeah, yeah, this is amazingly helpful. Yeah, cool. yeah, this, this is great. Perfect. So I hope that's helpful. Um, and if you want to elaborate more on this a little bit later, or if you want to... Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't want to take up too much of the work, but I also wanted to do a lot, you know, a lot while we were here. <laughs> but yeah. I also didn't want to just like take over completely. So, um, you know, I kind of let you from here, you yeah. know, add on to it, whatever, and then we can revisit if you want to and, and see what else we can do or just kind of audit and play through it if you want to. Oh, yeah, actually, that'll be awesome. So, so once I, you know, find the contract and all that, I'll go into more 